Good day, everyone! My name is Ignacio P. De Guzman III of Biped 2A, and in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing a health service that makes a school a better environment that caters and protects the diversity of the students and the reason why we need to implement it. Also, I'm going to be talking about the importance of health in teaching and learning process. So, the health service that I want to share with you to have a better school environment that caters and protects the diversity of the students is all about school health services for children with special needs. Now, the objectives of this health service would be to promote access, equity, and participation of children in school, to promote the quality, relevance, and efficiency of special education in school, and to sustain special education programs and services in the country. The activities available for this healthcare service include preventive care, diagnostic care, and treatment. Preventive care focuses on maintaining current health, preventing health problems before they happen, and limiting the secondary consequences of existing health problems. For physical health care, this includes regular checkups, physical examinations, immunizations, and genetic or diagnostic screenings, including testing for infectious diseases. Diagnostic care focuses on understanding the cause of current symptoms and diagnosing illness. When a health problem exists, treatment is provided to control, correct, or reduce the problem. The evaluation would be very important to determine any needs for special education and related services. And it may include psychological and educational testing, a speech and language evaluation, occupational therapy assessment, and a behavioral analysis. And the reason why we need to implement this kind of health service is because there are some children who experience difficulties in school, ranging from physical differences, problems with concentration, learning, speech, language, and perception to problems with behavior, making and keeping friends. Moreover, because this is going to support the ability of the children to learn in school or in the least restrictive environment possible. Health is very important in teaching learning process because it can create opportunities for better education and relationship for both the teachers and the students. Thus, when the teacher and learners are both healthy, educational attainment will not be at risk, but rather, it will be attained and experienced. Moreover, being healthy can create a positive environment in classroom. In fact, if you are healthy, you will be happy, and teaching and learning will become more interesting and enjoyable. Therefore, Health in teaching and learning process is very important. So, that would be all. Thank you for listening and God bless.